Alright guys, today we're playing Roadrunner, the Tengen version on NES. Have you ever played this before? I have, I think. I rented it from the video store a long time ago, so this is bringing back some memories. Yeah, this is- I hated it! This is a shitty game, but we're gonna try it anyway, just cause nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> so let's do it. I think I had this on the computer, too. Very possible. And it looked even- it was even worse on the computer. You know what's a shame, too, is uh, the Roadrunner games never really were that great. Um, because on Super Nintendo, uh -huh. they had Road Roadrunner's Death Valley Rally. Uh huh. And that game fucking sucks too. That game's like absolutely terrible, like AVGN worthy terrible. Okay. Um, but it's mainly like the controls suck. That game has awesome graphics. Like all the Looney Tunes oh, um, yeah, games the always had one. the best graphics, but the, the controls in that game are fucking terrible. And then for the longest time, I thought, well, there is one good Roadrunner game, uh, and that's Desert Demolition on uh, Sega Genesis. But okay. I actually played it recently, and I didn't really like it as much as I remembered. So I think the Roadrunner never really got a great, great game. Um, but there was also, I don't know if you remember, like the Looney Tunes cartoons um, with uh, Sam the Sheepdog, because um, oh. Wile E. Coyote appeared in other cartoons besides with the Roadrunner, he he also was like with he would catch the sheep sometimes. Do you remember? Do you remember those at all? Oh yeah. And so they, they made a game um, on the PlayStation One called Looney Tunes Sheep Raider, and that game was actually pretty fun. It had a little weird perspectives and angles sometimes, but I actually enjoyed that. But still, technically, that's not a Roadrunner game because the Roadrunner is not in it. It's um you know it's it's the sheepdog. Oh, so this is the part I remember. I think is I, I just remember that screen. Like yes, yeah. like going up and down. Yeah, that's There's what like... the game is. You basically just avoid Wile E. Coyote, and you gotta. Th There's the seed meter all, up top, and you gotta keep eating the seed. Wouldn't you rather be Wile E. Coyote? So than... there's a seed meter at the top of the screen. The Roadrunner goes along the streets, and he has to keep eating the seed. If he doesn't eat enough of the seed, he'll eventually die. Or that or the or the coyote will catch you. So the point of the game is basically you got to eat You got to eat your seed <laughs> Once he gets to the last bowl, that's it you lose the life. I'm pretty sure I used to love the Roadrunner like cartoons so much that I was so excited to play this game back in the day yeah. that like just seeing the coyote like in a video game and having him like on the rocket skates I kind of actually thought this game was cool, but then Looking back what? on it, like this ah! game, yeah, you got down to the last seed. You didn't oh, need enough okay. seed. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, but yeah, this game's just terrible. It's really hard to get that because it's like, oh, it's hard to, to know where you're standing. You know what I mean? The plane that you're on. Like, okay, there's the seed right there. Oh god. Fuck what you kind of got to do is like go around in a circle so that to avoid yeah. the coyote. And you, you don't want to like really get him to go off the screen. You kind of want to wait for him, but keep him on the side of the yeah. screen. Because as soon as he gets I off know. the side of the screen, then he you know he gets some kind of special ability to come catch you, which which you don't want. Oh, oh come on, come here. Oh, it's... yeah, I remember this. Oh! Now I'm mad. I want to do it. You gotta do it. See, you keep just outrunning the coyote. Well, here it's, he, it's the whole... Ah, oh, I got stuck. I was gonna go up and lose him. I, I gotta do that part again. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Beep, beep. Did you watch a lot of Looney Tunes growing up? Oh, definitely. Especially, like, the Roadrunner ones with, without any dialogue or anything. Ooh. Oh. You were a fan. It's like a picture's worth a thousand words. Right. Oh, come on! You know, Chuck Jones, who created these characters, uh, his thing about uh, Wile E. Coyote, he would always say, like, uh, Coyote is a fanatic, and that uh, a fanatic is somebody who redoubles their effort when they've forgotten their aim. And his aim is to eat, right? But the Roadrunner is so fucking hard to catch, and he keeps doing all these ridiculous things just to get a good meal. Mm -hmm. Why doesn't he just like go for an easier target? Yeah, you know, maybe he could catch catch a rabbit or something like a lot easier than. Well, I was hurt too. If he could afford the the, the Acme Dynamite and everything, 
Why, Why couldn't not? he just like order Roadrunner? <laughs> yeah, just order anything. <laughs> Actually, he explains it in one cartoon. He's he said he brings up like a chart and he, and he explains how delicious like the Roadrunner is. He goes through like every different like part uh -huh. of the bird and he's is like, is that like one of the ones where he talks? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, he's like this part of the bird tastes like this and this you know. So it, it's like gives explanation to why he wants to catch the Roadrunner. Like, sure, he could go out and he could get himself right if he can afford all, like all these rockets and stuff. He could go to McDonald's and get himself like a uh -huh. cheeseburger, but he doesn't want to do that because it's not as delicious as the Roadrunner. Oh! It's just unfortunate that the Roadrunner is so fast, and that's the struggle of Wile E. Coyote. The game is unfortunate. <laughs> So you're saying that uh, Tengen didn't do a, a good job on this one? Honestly, back back in the day, uh, even I thought yeah. this game was kind of shitty. Oh, here you go. The oh, so he's deck. gonna use it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Just watch out. You're, get, uh, you're getting pretty far here. Get the get get the seed. I'm trying. Get the trying. Seed. Get the seed. Trying. Oh god. Oh, oh fucking seed. shit! I said to eat the seed. Yeah, he was catching me though. Bada bum bada bum bada bum bum bum. Go 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 go. Go. Oh my god. Yeah, you get caught. Like... God, this is this is aggravating. <laughs> go 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 go. Oh! <laughs> it's like so stupid. I can't. Come get on. This. I can't. Oh no! Fuck! It. You were like you were like right there. I know. I think that was the end of the fucking game. This is not a very oh, long game. Oh, it's the end of the game? I think so, actually. It's, like, not a long game. But then it starts you over from the beginning, and then oh, you gotta just keep it, doing the same couple stages over and over. It's one of those. Yeah, it's arcade style. Right, well then. This was in the arcade. This is another shitty arcade port. By the way, you could be using the shortcut, which is up there through that hole. Wait, really? You've already passed it. Oh, right? you it's not back. a game you're gonna go shit. back. Usually, I want the coyote to get the Roadrunner in the cartoons. When I you're watching like, it. Yeah. What about but, Sylvester and Tweety? Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely wasn't a fan of Tweety. Were you a fan of Sylvester? Not as much, really. I mean, there's enough cat versus small animal cartoons. I think right. I, I was a fan of Tom and Jerry, so I, I liked uh, Tom. So you like Tom and Jerry, but that like you only want one cat and mouse duo. That, more than one cat and mouse duo is not good for you. Yeah, well, what was some, <laughs> there were some other ones though. What, what else was it? Uh, there was. Well, I can think. Now I'm thinking of famous cartoon cats. I mean, there's like Garfield, but that yeah. you're thinking of cat and mouse duo. Um, um, Pixie and Dixie and Mr. Jinx. Oh uh, yeah. You remember them? I, 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 I. Oh shit! Shit! Oh, is that it? Is that it? All right, one more. I think this is the first time we've mentioned Pixie and Dixie in a, in a video. Well, I, I remember I was used to think that Dixie Cups were named after the... <laughs> oh my god, now I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna fucking lose. No, oh, shit, fucking shit. It's all because of Dixie Cups. You remember Snagglepuss? Kind of. He was like the pink, like... Yeah, he was the, the pink, pink Snagglepuss. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fucking shit, that pink pussy thing. <laughs> There you go. All right. Exit stage left. <laughs> and then there was uh, Wally Gator. <laughs> Are we still talking about cats or is it? Is it... Now I'm just into like Hanna Barbera yeah, characters. Grape ape, grape ape. <laughs> yeah. Grape ape is basically like Shit Pickle. Just says his name. Oh yeah, is that like, where you got Shit Pickle's mannerisms it, from? It might have been. Subconsciously. Maybe. But sh yeah, like grape ape, Shit Pickle, Shit Pickle. Oh my God, Shit Maybe. Pickle has everything to. Oh, to, to grape ape. ape. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, okay, I see I'm just losing it. The grape ape. I like the way grape ape would sit on top of the car. He's like huge. He sits on top of the car. That cartoon was great. What about that shark? What was that shark? Jabberjaw. Like? Jabberjaw. And he would do like uh, Three Stooges impressions. Because <laughs> everything was about Three Stooges. It was. Three Stooges even had its own cartoon then. It, they did, yeah. Oh, it was awesome. <laughs> wait, wait, are Man, you serious? You I really just... have to, like, eat every one of those fucking seeds. Because I just ate a lot of fucking seed. Go, go, baby, go, go baby. Go, 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 Eat go. that seed, baby. Go, baby, get, baby. Eat that oh, seed, baby. baby. Ah. You're not eating enough. 
Oh, baby, out. You're bugging me, man. You're bugging me. You're bugging me. Oh. Shit! Mm. I don't know. Oh, uh, let me try. Let me try. Here you go. Dun, dun, I had dun, enough dun, of this dun. shit. So do you hate this game? Yeah, it, it's just, it's nerve-wracking in like a, a, a Well, it very... should, don't you think it should be, though? I think they were going for that. I, I mean, guess. it's fucking... It's the Roadrunner trying to outrun the Coyote. It should be nerve-wracking. That much, I will say, I think they got right. But I don't think it's a good game. Oh, Ooh. I meant to go up there. See, the thing that sucks about the control is you get caught on the corners. Mm -hmm. And it's really annoying. See, now I gotta get every fucking, like, thing. I'm gonna be dead. You'll be dead. Mm. Oh. oh, God. This we is, have four lives also. This is ridiculous. God. Oh. A, you gotta be kidding me. You just you just <sighs> got I know. some seed, and then... It, the seed does not last, like, at all. It sucks. Like, that's not even a second. I know. It's awful. You basically, you gotta get every one and be moving, like, as fast as... Fucking hell. Here we go, here we All go. Alright, so here we go, let's see. Oh. oh, there's boulders. There's boulders and shit. Yeah, it's not over just yet. Come on, where's this? And I'm getting like every one. You're getting too. every single one. There. All End right. of level. Is there another one? Let's see. Oh, there is another. Okay, never mind. Right. So I think this is the last stage. This one I remember being fucking awful. As in, like, hard. Near, near. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah! Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> my, you're right about the thumb thing. My thumb yeah. is killing me. Because you're just, like... You're... I can't think of any good way to describe it, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way he's like wringing his neck. All right. And you don't know the path. Like if I had a chart. Oh God. Mm. Oh boy, is that shitty? You bet. Ah! This is so aggravating. It is. Fuck. Oh! Oh my God. Ha! Huh. There's no like room to go around. If I had like a chart written down for. Oh my God. And then someone would have to... It would be a really long chart. Yeah, it would and be. And someone would have to, like, be constantly moving it in front of you. Exactly. Oh my god, am I almost there? Oh... There's, like, cannons and shit oh now? Oh god, oh god. Fuck. Oh. But I got, like, two lives left. I might be able to do this. What?! That's all. Didn't it, didn't it say I had more lives? I don't know. I thought it said I had, like, two lives left. I don't know. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so I was mistaken. In the top right, it just says the level. I was on level three. So I was looking up there thinking yeah. I had three lives left, but it really says, I had I had none. Yeah, it says LV. I could see looking up there really quickly. You know, you could... Yeah, because I was playing the game. I didn't have time to like really you yeah. know, look up there. But anyway, that's Roadrunner on NES by Tengen. It sucks. My hand hurts <laughs> like in my thumb, like really, it's like painful actually. It's, don't, oh. did, what did you feel like? Did it was it painful well, for you? It's, too? it's so hard to describe, but just like when you're rocking the D-pad around like this, you're using all the muscles like right about like here. And yeah. It, it just you tense up when you play this game. Yeah. So it hurts your hand. The graphics <laughs> yeah. suck, especially compared to the Super Nintendo version. The music's repetitive. Um, the controls are bad. I'm trying to think of anything good about the game. The only thing good about the game is that it's based on a great cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well uh, um, Back to the Future right. NES is based on a really, really great movie. Yeah, the Ghostbusters on NES is based on a great movie, but it's yeah. a shitty game. So this game is fucking terrible.